Coming up, Jonathan heads to Roatan to discover some of the healthiest reefs in the Caribbean and the animals that live there. Welcome to Jonathan Bird's Blue World. The Blue World team has traveled to the tropical island of Roatan to explore some of the healthiest reefs in the Caribbean. Roatan is an island located 40 miles off the coast of mainland Honduras in Central America. It's a popular vacation destination for North Americans, not only because of nice beaches and proximity to the U.S., but also because of the healthy marine environment. Zach, Diver Ed, and I start our day meeting Lindy Warren of Infinity Divers. Lindy is a very famous Roatan dive master, and we're lucky to have him to show us around. Well, we're here in beautiful Roatan, Honduras. It's a beautiful day. And we're going to do some nice tropical diving, baby. This is my favorite kind of diving, nice warm water. Check this out. Roatan is known for super healthy coral reefs and a robust population of sea turtles. And while we have seen sea turtles many times, we're hoping to capture some really interesting behaviors. We tie up at a popular site known for really great coral and deep channels that bring clear water into the shallows. I'm going to have a super easy and fun dive because I'm testing out my new IMAX camera. Actually, it's a GoPro Hero 10 that shoots in 5K. Even though Lindy has done more than 10,000 dives, he never gets bored of showing people these beautiful sights. He leads us down through a channel in the reef. It dumps us out on the wall at 110 feet. Here, the reef drops precipitously into the blue. The light down here is low, and the GoPro image quality is kind of noisy. We follow Lindy on a search for a sea turtle. Along the way, I can't help but notice all of the interesting sponges. I'm a sucker for a pretty sponge. Some of these barrel sponges grow quite large. And the beauty of a GoPro is getting an interesting perspective. Lionfish are invasive in the Caribbean, transplants from the Pacific. However, they've become quite numerous on the reefs here. Lindy is using all of his dive master powers in the search for sea turtles. But so far, we're coming up empty. Soon it's time to start heading back towards shallower water, and Lindy has a cool secret passage. We swim into another channel through the reef. This one is almost like a cave. It's kind of dark, but a little sunlight still twinkles through the cracks.
out of the shadows at a perfect depth for a safety stop. But we have plenty of stuff to see. There are tons of fish, such as schools of grunts. I find a school of surgeon fish. These herbivores perform an important function for the health of the reef. They swarm from coral head to coral head, consuming the algae that grow on the reef. By keeping the algae at bay, they ensure the health of the coral. The algae never stops growing in the abundant sunshine, so the fish have a never-ending supply of food. Once they get used to me, I can get close for some awesome shots. With our safety stop completed, we head back up to the boat. We didn't find a single turtle. Where are they all? Man, what a great dive. Swim throughs, healthy coral, lots of color. Oh, great dive. Lindy has another spot in mind where we should find some turtles. We haven't been in the water more than 30 seconds before we find our first sea turtle. It's a small female hawksbill searching for lunch. She has some red algae on her shell. She could really use a few surgeon fish. I'm gonna call her Fuzzbutt. Even though sea turtles live their whole lives in the ocean, they're still reptiles and need to breathe air at the surface. So, every five to ten minutes, a sea turtle must go up for a few breaths. Catch you later, Fuzzbutt. In the meantime, we have a look around. We find a few more lionfish. They might not belong here, but they are still one of the most beautiful fish on the reef. But don't touch, because those spines are extremely venomous. Speaking of venomous, the scorpion fish is easy to miss with that awesome camouflage, and this fish packs venomous dorsal spines too. I spy an indigo hamlet. They're a little more common here than in the rest of the Caribbean, but it's still a rare sight. Lindy is filming something with his GoPro, and another turtle comes down to investigate. Turtles can be quite curious, and they know that divers will not hurt them. This lady is hungry, and she's on a mission to find a snack. Finally, she finds her favorite food, which is a particularly tough sponge. Fish can't eat these sponges because they simply can't bite into them. And she's having a hard time too. Not many animals find sponges particularly good to eat. But sea turtles and a few species of fish can digest the tough fibers. Finally, she finds the perfect sponge and begins ripping it open.
Almost immediately, a queen angelfish joins the party to mooch a few scraps. The angelfish could never eat this sponge without the turtle's help. gets out fast. Soon, a gray angelfish shows up at the table, and then another. It's a full-on buffet. This sea turtle has a scar on her left side, maybe from a shark bite when she was younger. So I'm calling her shark bait. doesn't mind if I get in close to watch. All this eating is making me hungry. This restaurant is pretty good, but she needs to breathe. While shark bait goes for a breath, two more hawksbills show up. Oh wait, it's Fuzzbutt! followed closely behind by another female hawksbill. I don't know where all the males are. Maybe they slept in. Fuzzbutt and the other hawksbill are circling around, almost as if they're trying to find something. Later, Fuzzbutt has somehow discovered Sharkbait's half-eaten sponge and picks up where she left off, biting off large chunks. The angelfish don't seem particularly picky about who they steal their scraps from. But soon, Sharkbait is back from her trip to the surface to breathe and she's not happy to find Fuzzbutt eating her sponge. It comes to a head, and an argument breaks out. It looks violent, but they're not really hurting each other. Eventually, Fuzzbutt swims away, leaving Sharkbait to continue feeding on her sponge. I'm really excited to witness this interesting behavior. Who knew that fish could take advantage of a sea turtle's strong jaws? We might have scuba gear allowing us to breathe underwater, but like the sea turtles, we must eventually surface as well. 
And all that feeding action is making me hungry, so it's time to head back to the dock for lunch. The beautiful reefs of Roatan certainly did not disappoint. From the coral swim-throughs to the abundance of fish, and of course the amazing sea turtles, Roatan is a lovely place to explore the blue world. Hey everyone, did you know that you now can become a Blue World member? Hit the join button down below and get access to cool perks like custom badges, early access to new videos, your name in the credits, and more.